Today I'm going to show you how to paint this oceanscape with acrylic paint. These are the colors I'm using for my painting. I used a white, turquoise, just a true blue, green, brown, yellow, and gray. And I'm really not using a whole lot of these three colors and even my green, but they add a lot of interest. And for the white and the turquoise, I went with the little bit more expensive paint um, than the colors I wasn't using as much. Uh, it's a lot thicker and easier to blend and use on your canvas because it's not as transparent. Major tip I have for you is since we are using craft paint, try not to use very much water. Um, if you do rinse out your brush, make sure you dry it really well. And we're gonna get started. So I have just a scrap of paper to measure out where I want my horizon line bent it where I want it. And then I'm just gonna go ahead and make a little mark as a guide point. Just gonna make a few of those. I'm not super concerned with it being perfect. Just don't want it leaning too much to one side. So then I'm gonna connect those. Just really lightly. Okay, so this is going to be the ocean, this is going to be our sky. And I'm going to start with my sky first, and we're going to have it a little darker towards the bottom, and then we're going to layer some clouds up. So I like to start from one side and work my way across since paint dries quickly. I am going to have the sky and the ocean be similar in color. So I want to mix some of my turquoise with this blue. I'm going to start up here. And work my way down. Now, since I want the clouds to be white, I'm going to kind of map out where I want my clouds. And notice how I'm not using a harsh line with my brush. It's kind of dry. And then I can pull a little white to really highlight the edge of that cloud. I'm doing short motions, brush strokes, all towards this direction. You can do it back and forth if you want. I'm just starting this way to kind of give it some unity. I'm gonna pull some more of this darker blue in with my turquoise. This paint dries quickly. So if there are areas you want to blend, you got to work fast. So see how I'm blending out that cloud line? So if I feel like I'm having too much paint, you can kind of swipe it away like this. The nice thing about acrylics is they dry quickly and that also causes problems if you want to do a lot of blending. It's all about knowing what area you want to work on next. Working in sections on your canvas. Okay, so that's the top of my cloud line. Then I'm gonna real, get really light color on my brush. I'm gonna kind of map out my cloud lines. So I'm gonna do some smaller ones down here. I kind of want a strip of blue up and over. And then I'm gonna want a little bit darker skyline towards the bottom. So I'm gonna paint my horizon line above that first line I made. I'm gonna pull this through. It's nice to have different colors going through the same area. So even though this is all the sky, you notice I added a little bit of turquoise right there just to add some interest. Okay, I'm gonna wipe off my brush instead of 
rinsing it completely. And then I'm gonna pull in some white and try to blend this line out a little bit. If there's too much paint, you can wipe it off on the paper towel. And once this dries, if I want it to be even more bright white, I can go back and add another layer. Just want to have this soft cloud transition through here. Now I can pull in a little bit of gray and white to add sort of a shadow. Just need the tiniest bit of gray on your brush. I pulled in too much there. I'm going to add in some of my shadow on my cloud. Clouds are three-dimensional. Even though we're painting flat, we can make it feel like it has form with the shadows. The nice thing about clouds is you really don't have to make it look like anything just by adding some highlights and some shadows. You can tell it's a cloud. I'm going to go in and add some highlights to these clouds. I'm keeping the white of the canvas as kind of the middle creamy white. The other thing you can do is put down some highlights and then I get a little piece of paper towel and you can go through and you can even pick some up on the paper towel if you want. And dab it right on your canvas to get some little cloud wispy areas. Now, once this is mostly dry, you can go in and add a really small, fine clouds that are farther away and they get smaller and flatter as they go farther away. So this will add a little depth to your scene. Okay, now we're gonna move down to the water. And I wanna have sort of like a little sandbar over here. And then we're gonna have sort of the green of the ocean and then Towards the bottom, we're gonna have the waves rippling in with some sand. So I'm gonna start, go top to bottom. For my sandbar, I'm gonna get a little yellow, a little brown, mix them together, and then grab some white. If you had a lot of blue left in your brush, you can rinse it or wipe it really well on your paper towel. So this part I wanna keep really loose and quick and use a lot of wet paint together. So I'm gonna wipe that off. I'm gonna pull some white, kind of like water is rippling up against that sandbar. And now we're gonna do the water. And I'm gonna pull in some of this color and then I want a little bit of this deep green. It's going to add a little interest to your horizon line. It's a really nice ocean color. Okay, we're going to work quick. And pull some down straight across. I like to pull in some of the same color we have in the sky, like it's reflecting. And I'm working in horizontal lines to read as water. If this feels too dark, once it's dry, I can go back and add some highlights. With acrylic, usually you start darker and build up more light. 
I'm gonna rinse that because that's pretty dark on my brush and then dry it really well. Now I want the sand kind of poking through right here. So I'm gonna get some of that same color. I'm gonna swirl it around. Maybe a little darker than that. If that gold color is too dark, I'm gonna pull in some more white. I can even mix it right on top of the canvas like that. Now I kind of want to add some of the same blues into the sand, almost like the water is reflecting on the surface. So I'm going to pull in some of this turquoise and mix it up against these edges, fill in some of that space. It's really quick brush stroke movements. I always like to get a little bit darker towards the corners to ground it a little. Okay, now this is the fun part. We're going to pull up some of this white and we're going to draw in the little ripples of the sea foam coming in. And I'm doing it sort of like a smile <laughs> in the shape where it kind of bows down and then it's going to bow up and then down a little bit. So you can do your waves however you would like. And once that dries, you can get even more detail on there. So I'm just making these little swirly, almost like stretched out S's. Adding some ripples with the water. This is just white on my brush, and since this paint is still wet, when I drag it through, it creates these lighter colors of the paint underneath. I clean that off. I want to add a little bit darker over here, so I'm going to pull some of my green and my blue. I'm going to add some horizontal strokes. I want some more of this turquoise in the water. And now that it's starting to dry a little, I can layer it on top. I'm still doing these motions that you think water moves. As this is drying, I'm gonna add some interest to my sandbar. I'm just gonna pull a little bit of the turquoise into my brown and do some horizontal strokes. My brush is really dry. It's mostly the paint, and since the paint is already pretty liquidy, you don't really need to add water. If an area is too dark, you can brush your off on the napkin and then smooth it out with your dry brush. Okay, now I'm going to go back and add a few more details into the sky and the water and once this is dry I can add even more little white swirlies to add some interest. The highlights and the contrast really add a lot of depth to your painting. I may even want to come in and reflect some of this watercolor into the sky, into the clouds, to kind of make it feel mo more cohesive. Here's the finished piece. Since I only had my flat brush, I couldn't add too many small details, but that was okay because I wanted to keep it really loose and bright and fun, and I hope you enjoyed.